Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 13th of December. I'm James Spann. We'll be in good shape in the short term. Some changes this weekend and next week. Finally getting a little model clarity in all of this. Let's get in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots, ca shots captured around the network this morning early at about 5 o'clock. That's coming from Birmingham, looking uh, over toward the Children's Hospital of Alabama from the Daniel Building. It's clear and cold. Most spots are below freezing. There's a look at our parish sky cam. I guess they're cooking up some biscuits in that joint over there. And down in Selma, that's the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River. Yeah, look at those 20s up to the north. Uh, Haleyville at 26. The coldest spot I could find early this morning was Russellville. Uh, the observation there at 21. But you can see how this is what, not a one-number place. Look at Anniston. They've got 40, almost a 20-degree swing. And it looks like there's some lingering clouds there, but those clouds will erode soon over East Alabama. Everybody else is clear. And around the nation, it's just cold, except way down in the southern tip of Florida. Uh, but we will moderate. Temperatures should be coming up a little bit in coming days. Uh, there's the big picture, if you will. We've got a big trough coming into uh, uh, California. And that, of course, will play a big role in our weekend weather. Here's our watch warning map. You can see a lot of uh, winter weather advisories for parts of the southern mountains, the southern Rockies. Uh, down into Arizona, New Mexico, they'll see a lot of snow. Flagstaff could pick up seven inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. And the rain for the next five days. Numbers are coming up. Now, this is good through Tuesday evening. I'm sorry, Tuesday morning of next week. It's uh, 6 o'clock. And this is showing about two inches of rain here. And again, the model clarity is better, and uh, uh, that will be coming toward the end of the weekend, maybe Sunday night. So let's get in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. One of our mandatory levels, you can see the big troughing coming into California and Baja. But around here getting ridging, and that means a nice day. Sunny with a high in the upper 50s. It'll feel good, and that's where we should be for this time of the year. Tomorrow, it's going to be cold again. I think we'll be around freezing early in the morning, but the high should be at or just over 60. All right, let's plan out that weekend. This is Saturday. The big trough is in the southwest. Also, uh, a chunk of that broke away, and it's up over the upper Midwest, so two uh, distinct energy centers. And down below that, you can see two distinct areas of precipitation. With that northern system, there's a low near Des Moines with a trailing front. But the model clarity is finally better for Saturday. It looks like a pretty good chunk of the day will be dry and comfortable. The high should be in the middle 60s on Saturday. And then Sunday, that front just kind of eases in here with a good chance of showers. And uh, there could be some thunder with this. And uh, what happens, uh, you know, that energy in the southwest will kind of uh, perhaps generate a wave on that front enhancing the rain Sunday night, and then Monday, the front is by and we turn cooler. Uh, this is midday Monday, suggesting we'll be in dry air and somewhat cooler air. The high Monday should uh, drop into the uh, uh, upper 50s, nothing excessively cold. And there's a look at Tuesday, and again, uh, uh, the big trough is forming off to the east, and there's not really not a big surface low. You know, for a while, we had the look with this big surface low, and uh, some rain on Tuesday. Well, the GFS is pretty dry. So let's look at the European and see how it plays it out. This is Sunday at noon. Very similar to the GFS. It's got that surface boundary kind of hanging up north of here. And then Sunday night, that wave develops on the front with precipitation increasing. And again, there could be some thunder with that feature Sunday night. This is a 6 o'clock Sunday evening. And then at noon Monday, it's all gone. So both the GFS and the Euro are in good agreement, suggesting our best chance of rain will be during the day Sunday and Sunday night, with that rain really ending during the pre-dawn hours Monday. And a big chunk of the day Monday should be dry with some clearing possible. And then Tuesday, that deep upper trough swings through here, 
Uh, the 540 line drops all the way down to Montgomery. So Tuesday it should be noticeably colder. And I think this model has a better handle on it. The GFS looks too warm. And with that upper trough, that could squeeze out a little light rain or a few sprinkles. And yes, maybe a few uh, little areas of snow over Tennessee and Kentucky. So we'll mention a chance of a little scattered light rain on Tuesday with this feature. Um, and again, we, we might have a hard time getting out of the 40s if this is right. And then Wednesday, we're dry and we warm right back up. There's no really cold air at the surface. It's mainly dynamic cooling. So a good chance by a Wednesday of next week, we'll see highs uh, around uh, 60. And this is Thursday of next week. Back to the GFS. Evidence of maybe another front coming in here from the uh, west with maybe some risk of showers. All right, Christmas fans. Let's peek, peek at what's happening out here. This is uh, Saturday, December 22nd. Front to the south, it's turning sharply colder. Christmas Eve, December 24th, cold and dry. Not as cold as other runs we've seen. This would suggest a high maybe in the uh, upper 40s. And on Christmas Day, that would be perfect. Uh, the morning would be cold, maybe starting off around freezing. The high would be in the 50s. And again, that is exactly where we should be. Now, keep in mind, we have seen other runs noticeably colder than this. But whatever, at this point, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are looking uh, chilly and dry. Uh, a couple of days later, December 27th, you know, we've seen, again, looks all over the board. Most runs have had that surface low in the Gulf, and it's colder here. We've seen snow looks for Tennessee and maybe North Alabama. This is a stormy look with a surface low north of us. And on the 28th, that feature passes us by, and temperatures are relatively mild. So, you know, it's typical, you know, voodoo land stuff. Every run is looking different, but confidence is increasing that Christmas this year could be kind of chilly and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.